We are post-match here at the 2024 MEC Championships. Uh, Coach, why don't you start us off with a few thoughts uh, on today's wrestling? Well, I think our guys wrestled really hard today. You know, outside of one match where um, you know, we, we got to stand up for ourselves. We got we to fight. You know, we got to show some some toughness there. You know, outside that one match, I really liked what we what we did today. You know, we made a lot of growth from. Yeah, you know, I think. You know, not that we haven't hit tough competition, but through and through, we hit a lot of a lot of good guys today, and we improved a lot of positions. And yeah, you know, I think we got a lot to, a lot to grow on from it. Uh, a, a little bit of a two-horse race here today with you and Glenville State. Uh, you had, with eight wrestlers in the championship matches, and then with I believe nine. Uh, a little bit of a possible preview to the super regionals. How do you think it helps seeing them here already going into that? Well, you, just, you need tough battles, and uh, whether it's Glendale State or another opponent, you gotta have tough battles, and we gotta continue to execute in these high-pressure situations um, where you know that, those little details can either really shine for you, or you know the crowd can go, oh, so close. And you know, I think uh, you know, I like some of the growth we made on executing some of those details. Skyvon being one of them. You know, overtime match, high-level execution on that single leg finish, and you know something I think for our entire team to see, like, okay, like, hey, look at his growth. And look at that kind of moment because that's that's the type of execution is going to take there just over a month. Uh, you had mentioned Kaivon, uh, Ty, and uh, Francisco, all repeat MEC champions. Talk a little bit about kind of like the their mark that they're leaving on this program. Well, I, I think uh, you know, Boris Lee has been around a while. I think he's won a handful of MEC titles, and you know, he faced the guy that's been to the national tournament a couple times, and, and that's a good test for him. You know, he's uh, he's going to continue to round in the shape, and just ultimately, he's he's been anchor and gets falls, and you know, we want more of that. And you know, McGeary, I mean, he's uh, he's one of a kind, and uh, you know, I know you would really like to see maybe some uh, more challenging uh, you know opponents today, but you know, those are those are right around the corner. Uh, one final question here. On the flip side of that, you have freshman Nico Taddy and Mason Christian winning their first titles. Talk about how they've been able to step up into the roles that they have this year. Well, that was a big match for Nico. He uh, he got the best of that guy earlier this year. That guy got him at national duels. And, yeah, I think Nico showed some of the lessons he learned from that last match. And, you know, he almost repeated some of those in that match. And, you know, but, uh, you know, again, that's the type of stuff we need. And, you know, he's true freshmen going out there. You know, we had three of them in the final night, with Christian Chavez being the other one that, uh, you know, they, they got to continue to press to their spots. You know, that uh, this isn't, uh, you know, the you know high school wrestling or even, you know, um, anything else. If you start taking your foot off the gas pedal, you know, the next person stomping on the gas pedal will come get you. And, you know, I think uh, they're, they're figuring more and more of that out. And, you know, in an environment like this, it's got to be exciting for those three guys. And we're going to continue to go off of it. Thank you, Coach, and congrats on a good day of wrestling. Yep, thanks. Bye now.